when you're playing it, it's only 24 notes, but it's so meaningful to that family. Tom Day is talking about playing taps at the funerals of military veterans, and he should know. He's the founder and president of an organization called Bugles Across America. All told, how many funerals have you done since you started Bugles Across America? Uh, 200,000. Really? In 10 years, right. It started back in 2000 when Congress gave every vet the right to a funeral with military honors, including two uniformed officers to present a flag and play taps. The problem was the military only had 500 buglers, so they sent someone to play a recorded taps on a boom box or an electronic device inside a bugle. Tom Day, who played in the Marines in the 50s, didn't like it. I call it stolen dignity that these veterans uh, can't get live taps when we are out there ready to perform live taps. So he started his organization, recruiting 400 horn players within a year. Now we have 6,270 horn players, and we're doing 2,200 funerals a month. It's become quite an operation. The day runs out of his basement near Chicago. Families can go on his website to ask for a bugler. A message is sent to every horn player within 100 miles of the funeral. Day gives away bugles and helps with uniforms. While he gets support from foundations, he runs a deficit every year. How do you make up for the shortfall? Uh, I kind of make it up myself. Fifteen, twenty thousand dollars a year. Uh, probably ten. You finish you know, the last of the twenty-four notes. You put the horn down, and the flag has been presented. Then the family comes over. The kisses, the handshakes from these families. There is nothing, no amount of money, could ever buy the feeling that I get from the family once I finish the 24 notes. With soldiers killed in Iraq and Afghanistan, plus 1,800 veterans of World War II dying every day, there is a flood of military funerals. Day, who is 69, says he wants to keep going until he dies, then leave his organization in solid shape to carry on. I want every family to have live taps at that going away presentation of their veteran. And uh, it kind of tells the Marines who are guarding the gates in heaven, live taps, we're gonna let this veteran right in. Since we first ran that story nine years ago, Tom Day's organization has grown to more than 5,000 active members who play at 4,000 funerals every month.